everyone so wet and wild exclusively launched on nika today and i'm so excited to bring this look to you guys so i received this box full of goodies as you can tell here and i decided to create a look with everything that i had and this is the look i hope you guys liked it it's actually one of the most pinkiest look i have ever done and i actually really liked it and i hope you guys like it as well and here it is so i'm using the nude awakening palette all over my eyes and also my face today and i wanted my look to be very metallic today so i decided to wet my brush and i'm using the setting spray to wet my brush and then i picked up this shimmery pinky shade oh my god when i applied it on my eyes i fell in love with it it looked so pretty so iridescent and this beautiful shade of pink i applied this all over my eyelids this palette has beautiful everyday colors you can create a lot of looks using it you can create smoky eyes you can create some very wearable looks now i decided to keep this look very wearable very day appropriate very pinky uh, with a lot of blush tone i don't usually do anything like this and i hope you guys like it i'm actually a little nervous next i took this matte um, dark mauve shade just took a little bit onto the tip of my brush and then i'm applying that just on the outer corner and a little bit on the crease as well i'm just using that to blend all of that eyelid shade and i'm just using very gentle circular motion and i added this to add a little bit of depth onto the outer corner and then I'm using a clean brush to buff and blend everything and then I reapplied the shimmery shade just a little bit and I also applied the dark mauvey shade on my lower lash line Next, I'm taking this light shimmery shade and I'm applying that onto my inner corner as a highlight. Then I applied the coal eyeliner from Wet n Wild onto my waterline. I applied this both on my upper and lower lash line and it took me a while. I don't think so. This is the softest of them all. Um, it took me quite a lot of rubs to get the desired um, vibrancy. It wasn't as dark as I wanted it to be. Next, I am taking the Wet n Wild Mega Liner and I decided to do a very thin winged eyeliner but it didn't turn out that way. So I went off camera, went very close to the mirror and drew a wing. Um, you've seen me draw winged eyeliners many times and I just did the exact same thing. Next, I'm using the mascara. This has a very unique tip which I really liked. It really separated and lengthened my lashes and the tip is also very easy to apply um, onto your lower lashes and it's also very easy to um, push the lashes upwards. I didn't think that this was a very volumizing mascara. Next I used the pearlescent pink blush and I was actually really blown away with the pigmentation of the blush. It actually was a lot more pigmented than I expected this to be. It took me a lot of blending. I did not use any bronzer for this look. I wanted to sculpt using the blush and I honestly had to blend so much so that it did not look as stark as it does right now uh, don't worry i took my time to blend it it is very very pigmented you need very little of it and i kind of blended it in um into like a nice soft c shape so that it would sculpt my face and also add a little bit of color and then to highlight my face i took the same shade that we used to highlight the inner corner i'm just taking that onto a fan brush and i applied that on the highest point of my cheek i also took it on my nose and on my cupid's bow and also on my chin 
So I got two lipsticks and I wanted to try both of them for this look. Uh, the first one is called Blushing Bali. It's a very frosty pink lipstick. Kind of turned out to be darker than it looks on the bullet. And it's, it's a very bold, very metallic sort of finish. And yeah, this is how it looks. And the next lipstick that I tried is called Nice to Fuchsia. It's such a nice pun. It's like nice to meet ya, but like nice to Fuchsia. I really like the name. Um, so this is their Mega Last Catsuit Matte Lipstick. Oh my god, this like hugs your lips. Like you can feel it cling into your lip and the lipstick is like, I am never letting you go. It will not let your lips go. It's a little drying, but it's very, very long lasting. Did not go patchy at all. Um, it's very long lasting. It stains your lips. And this color is a beautiful purplish sort of pink. Ah, it's so beautiful. Oh my God, the pictures turned out so nice after I wore this lipstick. I definitely like this look better with this lipstick. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as usual, all the links to the products will be down below. And you can go check out the rest of the Wet n Wild stuff on Nykaa. It's all going to be down below. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And I'll see you very soon. Bye!